Hello, welcome to the video. Um, here today, I'm going to show you how to set up the Optifine files to make it so that Discord will recognize Optifine as Minecraft. Uh, I apologize, my voice is a little nasally. I'm still getting over the flu or cold or something. I have some residual sinus stuff going on. So anyway, um, but yeah, because Discord generally doesn't recognize Minecraft as Minecraft if you're using Optifine. Um, this is a semi-permanent fix, so you only have to do it once per installation of Optifine. So if you update my Optifine, if you update my, if you update my Optifine, you just have to do it to the newer version, the exact same thing. So uh, first of all, you want to open a file explorer window. If you're on Mac, I can't help you. May God help you. Um, but yeah, open up a file explorer uh, Windows Explorer is what it used to be called. Maybe I'm too old for that. But in the search bar, you'll type percent app data percent. And it should open a bunch of stuff. For me, the only thing I have at the top that has a period in front of it is dot Minecraft. You want to click dot Minecraft and versions down here. This will show you every version of Minecraft that is currently installed on your computer. The most recent version that I have installed is 1.18.1 .1, version HDUH4. So this is the one that I have that's the correct way for Discord to recognize it when it's run. Um, I think I may have already done this one earlier when I was testing it. Hold on, let me check. No, okay. I, I, I fixed it, I think. Yes, I fixed it to what... So this is what you'll do. You'll open up whatever version of uh, Optifine you'll want to do. So this is the correct version for me, but it's already fixed. So I'm not going to undo it and do it again. But the pre-release of this one is uh, the one I'll show you. So you'll want to open up that fo the folder for the one you just installed. Just look on the Optifine page and see what the name is and find that in this list. It, you could also sort it by most modified or installed, however you have it done. There will be two files inside. There's going to be the jar version and the JSON version. The jar is the Java equivalent of an EXE file. It's the Java equivalent of an executable. That's not what we're touching. We're touching the JSON file. Yours will probably just be a blank thing. And if you click on it, it'll open a window saying, um, you know, open with whatever. It'll be like this, but... You can just click more apps and select notepad. I have, that's what I have it selected as. I actually prefer to use notepad plus plus or there are other programming language applications. Another one I have installed is called Atom that are actually better because in terms of programming, it'll show you more information. So, you know, there's purple colors here. What we're going to be focusing on is this game thing. And we're going to be adding it after this bracket. So it shows you where the bracket starts and ends. But if you don't have that installed, I'll just show you Notepad. It's for this purpose. But so what we're going to look at, like I said, is the game. So this will be what it looks like before. And this is going to be what it looks like after. So in the Discord and in the YouTube video description. I'll go ahead and copy and paste this. So what you're going to want to do is copy this from the description of the Discord. And this is where you're going to be putting it over on this right side right here. You're going to click right after the bracket. You're going to hit space, enter, tab, paste, comma, and then save it. And that's all you have to do. But if you have the Minecraft game open or the Minecraft launcher open, you'll have to close it after you save this and relaunch it, and it should fix it. I'm thinking this probably has extra space in there because I used Notepad++ when I was doing it, but I'll just check really quick because I don't know why that spacing is different because I did the exact same thing in Notepad++. Um, but the spacing is different, so uh, that's still the wrong program. Uh, no, Pat Plus Plus. J 
just want to make sure. I don't think the spacing really matters that much. Um, because literally I did the same thing just in Notepad++. So it should be fine. But yeah, that's all you have to do. And if you ever update Optifine to a newer installed version, just repeat the same process. That's all you gotta do. All right. Bye.